Hello, everyone. My name is Meng Chiang. I'm an executive vice president at Purdue University and the John A. Everson Dean of the College of Engineering, which I'm proud to say is the largest engineering college to be ever ranked among the top five in the United States. And last year in 2021, I had the pleasure to co-found the Center for Tech Diplomacy at Purdue, a nonpartisan tech tank, the first of its kind in the country, to focus on the intersection between technology and U.S. foreign policy with a mission that technology must advance freedom. And the Center for Tech Diplomacy at Purdue will be convening meetings, carrying out years-long studies, and providing training material for foreign policymakers. One of the first studies is the Global Roadmap to 6G. We're delighted to have on this task force the chief technology officers from leading companies in 6G, such as Cisco and Dell, Intel and Qualcomm, Ericsson and Nokia, as well as the former Assistant Secretary of State, Manisha Singh, and the longest serving NASA Administrator, Dan Godin. We will be publishing a midterm report towards the end of the summer and the final report at the beginning of 2023 with a range of activities and podcasts in between. And later in this 10 minute segment, you will hear from some of our task force members. Hi, I'm Dr. John Smee, Senior Vice President of Engineering at Qualcomm Technologies and Global Head of Wireless Research. Thank you for this opportunity to speak at the 2022 Concordia Lexington Summit. We envisage 6G to be the next global wireless platform for innovation, starting at the end of this decade and taking us through the 2030s. The next cellular generation will be essential for the continued merging of the physical, digital, and virtual worlds. It will play an integral role in continuing to close the digital divide, delivering more efficient connectivity and even higher performance for a wider range of devices and services. It will build on the solid technology foundation established by the 3G, 4G, 5G generations. And so our work so far in 5G and the upcoming 5G advanced will be essential for 6G's definition. And to prepare for 6G, Qualcomm Technologies is already working on foundational research across key technology innovation areas, including new radio designs, spectrum innovations, AI-enabled error interface research, scalable network architectures, communications resiliency, and more. Today, the economic impact of 5G is already being felt around the world. According to GSMA Intelligence, cellular technologies and services have already added $4.4 trillion of economic value to the global economy, and the societal impact will continue to increase as 5G proliferates. 5G Advanced and 6G will continue to drive new values as cellular technology expands into every industry. And our goal is also to design the next generation cellular networks and devices to be even more sustainable. We're working on, have been recently demonstrated, new green network technologies that can further reduce energy per bit to minimize the carbon footprint of our future networks. We're very excited about our 6G future, and I look forward to the upcoming 5G advanced evolution on the path to 6G. Hi, I'm John Rose, the Global Chief Technology Officer of Dell Technologies. You know, advanced wireless technology is foundational for every digital transformation in the world. Uh, and that digital transformation is not just occurring in large industries and in large cities and metropolitan areas. It's occurring across every industry and every part of our society. And rural America is likely to be one of the biggest beneficiaries of advanced wireless technology and the digital transformations that come from it. You know, we couldn't imagine smart agriculture without advanced wireless connectivity underneath it. And next generation rural broadband isn't just about surfing the internet, it's the foundation for immersive learning and digital healthcare. And fundamentally, it's the fabric that will allow us to actually recast the relationship between people and machines as the robotics and automation revolutions start to occur across every industry from transportation to manufacturing. 
You know, Dell has been focused on advanced wireless, more importantly, the modern take of it driven by the US ecosystem around technologies such as Open RAN because of the foundational expectations of technology providing connectivity underneath every industry's digital transformation. So we're extremely excited to be part of the ecosystem that's forming and the activities that are going on in Indiana around this particular topic. More importantly, we're really excited about the ecosystem that is forming to re-establish re the United States as the leader in 5G and 6G technology going forward. Hello, thank you for inviting me to speak with you today. I'm Asha Kedi, Corporate Vice President and the 5G Executive Sponsor at Intel. While we, as an industry, are in the early stage of preparing and doing the pre-standards work that will define the next generation, initial directions show that a fundamental technology focus will be the tight integration of computing, communications, and data. Traditionally, Networks were designed for the classic client-server model, where the whole network served as a pipe and connected computing happening at both ends at the server and the client. This started to change in 5G, where the cloud is moved closer to the device and the network can be sliced for different services. This is where computing and communication start to help each other. Beyond 5G, we expect further integration of computing communications and data at the platform level. Computing itself becomes the network's payload and AI can be distributed throughout the network. We expect that the next generation to essentially be a computer distributed through an intelligent mobile network. In other words, a standardized form of distributed intelligence. A fundamental platform upgrade is going to be required to enable this tight integration of computing data, and communications in the network and air interface. It will need to enable distributed computing at scale and across domains. And it will need to dynamically scale compute capabilities across devices, networks, and cloud. Key 6G technology dimensions are likely to include an order of magnitude improvement in some key KPIs, continued support for enterprise verticals, and new capabilities such as precise positioning and sensing. Six G will transform what a network can do. It will fuse human, physical, and digital worlds and deliver a network that takes us from connectivity to togetherness, from information to knowledge, and from effectiveness to purpose. It will make humans more efficient and redefine how we live, work, and take care of our planet. At Nokia, we have already begun research on 6G to make it commercially available by 2030. In the US, we're a founding member of the Next G Alliance and of RINGS, resilient and intelligent next generation systems and NSF led program to accelerate collaborative research in next generation networking and computing. And we are honored to be involved in the work of the 6G roadmap task force with the Center for Tech Diplomacy and applaud Dr. Chiang's leadership role in driving this across the industry ecosystem. The improvement in network connectivity brought by 5G to the end user will be further perfected with 6G. In addition, 6G will be a network with a sense with massive scale deployment of sensors, AI and digital twins. We will be able to analyze what's happening in the physical world augment it with human intervention, simulate outcomes, and then take the most efficient action. As we move towards the 6G era, sustainability, inclusiveness, security, privacy, and trust will become just as important as traditional KPIs of speed, capacity, and latency. Communications technology is going to play a critical role in boosting productivity and sustainability and bridging the digital divide in ways we cannot even yet imagine. Hi, my name is Manisha Singh, and I am the co-chair for the Roadmap to 6G Strategy Group at the Center for Tech Diplomacy at Purdue University. We think that this is an extremely timely and relevant conversation. 
we've engaged a group of companies who are at the cutting edge of the deployment of 6G technology. I previously served as the Assistant Secretary of State for Economic and Business Affairs. This portfolio included cyber and digital issues. I was able to watch from a global perspective the deployment of 5G technology. I evaluated it from a commercial perspective as well as for its national security and military implications. I found conversations with the private sector that was actually developing and deploying this technology to be extremely valuable. Similarly, in our current conversations with our corporate partners, I'm learning a lot about this next iteration of technology. Certainly, 5G was transformative. 6G will be even more so. We would like the results of our Roadmap to 6G Strategy Group to better inform current policymakers so that they can get ahead of the conversation. When 6G is finally deployed, it would be helpful to have a better understanding of what it actually means for society and the way we live, the way we work, the way we communicate, and certainly for its national security implications. We also think that consumers will be interested in hearing more about 6G technology. Technology is such an integral part of our daily lives, our mobile phones, our home security systems, our work product. We look forward to sharing the results of the Roadmap to 6G Strategy Group with you.